It was speculated that something should get cracked in this season because two weapons, aka the Tri Stringer and also the Gold Dynamo Roller, have super chumps now. And it'd be kind of silly if we had five, I think, five super chump weapons and just three Kraken weapons. And the only weapons left that we didn't know the specials on were going to be the Blob Lobber Deco, the Sloshing Machine Neo, and of course the Ball Point. So, like, it had to be one of those, right? And I don't think we were expecting it to go onto the ball point. And I think that everybody would riot if it was going onto the machine. <laughs> so there it is. It's on the blab laver. And, and I want to show you why that's so good and why this kit will be so stupid fun. So let's talk blob laver damage numbers for like j just a second, okay? Yes. Each blob, 30 damage, right? 30 damage every blob. Very easy to kill a non-moving opponent, I say, before missing my last one. <laughs> all right, so normal opponents aren't going to walk into like all four of your blobs, right? You're gonna have lots of times you do 30, 60, 90 damage. And the current blob lobber kit really doesn't let you benefit from doing any kind of weird partial damage shenanigans aside from the rain. But the new kit, oh, keep those numbers in mind. The 30, the 60, and the 90, okay? 40 damage on the line marker, huh? Would be a shame if it comboed really well with the 60 damage blobs of the blob laver, huh? <laughs> what a shame that would be. We went from 30 to 35 to 40. If they really want to drive home a point, they could 45 it. I, I doubt they will, but it would be funny. Either way, okay, we got one. We got one way we can combo very easily. You hit somebody with at least two of the bubbles, you manage to land the shot with the line marker, and, and you just you blow them up. But I know, I know, I know. Managing to do that consistently is really hard. But it might scare people away from interacting with you because if you could hit it, you, you, you win. You win. It's the ultimate. It's the ultimate. Get out of here. <laughs> motion, right? No, 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 no. But let's just remember. Let's see what Kraken can do. We got our funny little Kraken. We do a swivel. Oh, oh, it's sixty. It's sixty damage. It's it's 60 damage on the spin, huh? Oh man, um You're catching what I'm throwing, right? Right, you have a 60 damage special, a 40 damage sub, you do 30 damage per shot. If you put your foe into the 60 damage area with the Kraken, the second that you uncracken, you can still turn around and probably get the kill. It's such a different kit for the Blob Lobber, and we love to see it. Other little things, Blob Lobber just doesn't reach places very quickly, right? Like, let's say I'm standing here at the beginning of all these lines. I fire a set of blobs to try and get over there as quickly as possible. I'll do, I'll, I'll do it one more time. It takes a while. I, I barely even reach the wall to paint it. Now I have a line marker. Fixed your problems. If I am running around with Blob Lobber, I can put down two of these easy peasy to move around and then keep on firing more blobs. Right now doing this with my sprint there is a humongous waste of ink comparatively. It d does the same thing get done if I just paint the floor with my blobs and move on, yes. So you don't really need to do that, but it's still fun. The current blob lobber gets about 12 swings on an ink tank when you don't have any ink saver main. So even after throwing a couple of angle shooters, you'll still have some paint in the tank. I think for like two, three swings, love to see it. Also, Blob Lobber is one of the best, like, Rainmaker poppers already, so imagine having Kraken now, too. <laughs> so go ahead, wear whatever goofy kit you desire, all that Ink Saver main, that special saver, that special charge up the QR. Blob Blobber eats it all. I, I honestly, honestly, I'm probably gonna end up running just, like, comeback with it, right? Right, you can play it like an aggressive try, almost. Because you have comeback, you can get your Kraken even quicker on respawn to be more annoying. This is a big day for annoying people. A and annoying people is me. <laughs> now among the weapons that we don't know the kits for, the only one we don't know at this point is the sloshing machine. I'm really hoping we don't get Kraken on it randomly. I, I know, I know, we only got one Kraken weapon, but now that we gave it to the Blob Lobber, we can, we can leave it for the Blob Lobber, right? We can get something nice and fun and normal. Maybe some Zooka action, maybe some whale and auto bomb. <laughs> Some people were kind of fearful that because we haven't had any crab weapons since release, we'd randomly see crab on machine. 
if we're gonna have a bucket with crab, can the people agree with me that it'd be a lot more fun to see on Explo, please? Explo crab, pretend it's baller. It would be so fun, please, please, please. I, I'm, I'm asking really nicely, Nintendo. That'd be really fun. Just save it for next time. We, we don't need any more crab weapons again, again. It's cool. Save it for Splatoon 2 style update next season or something like that. Be like, oh, you guys miss baller like Splatoon 2? Well, don't worry. We're finally giving weapons crab tank again. And then the weapons in question are just Explosher and nothing else. <laughs> Blob Lobber is a weapon that has never gotten access to instant gratification like this. Like, Angle Shooter and Kraken? You're getting a kit where if you want to hit somebody with a thing, you get to hit somebody with a thing and get the kill. Like, look back at the other kits that Blob Lobber has had over time. It never happens like this. This is so different and so freeing for the Blob Lobber. It's great. If you want to hear me yab about more updates in the future, feel free to subscribe for more shenanigans another time. Not this time, because now I'm playing Rainmaker with my Blah Blobber before I get cracking on it and blow up everybody. Yeah! <laughs> uh, see you later. Okay, okay, post-recording in the car, Victoria. Just thinking about the fact that this is like your private battle, turf war, relaxed, no communication nightmare weapon. Like, I don't know if it's Clash Blaster tier, but it's definitely up there. It's the kind of weapon you can pick up to be really annoying because you can paint everywhere, and if anything happens, you can just crack in. But it's also the weapon that if it's on the other team and it's just shooting at you from everywhere, it's just gonna make you a little bit more mad. <laughs> And that's great. We need more of that. <laughs>